G'day, my name's Canafotta, welcome back to Terraria and Don't Starve Together, where we have discovered that slimes are falling from the sky. Uh, this happens every so often within the game itself, this is not unique to any one event, but um, if you kill enough of them, you can get a, a rather peculiar boss to spawn. Hopefully, that will get us prepared for... Uh, our first official boss fight. The Eye of Cthulhu. Now, unfortunately, uh, slimes are very bouncy. So I am going to retreat. At least this way I won't have to deal with any... There it is. Alright, so that's one thing that I would desperately love to have. Oh yes! They can jump through that gap. Well... That should hopefully keep them out of trouble. Well, I love that one. Banners are very important to try and get them as much as possible as you can because uh, we take. We give more damage to and we get better defense from those. But I think I will be eating the banana split. amount of coin out there. That is, um, Pinky. He's gonna take a bit to murder. There we go. That's right. Oh, crap. It's too gold. We should probably stash that real quick. And then I do actually want to move that banner to... Oh. Out here. This is where I'm going with fighting, so I might as well fight. Slimes also have the peculiar habit of giving off lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of potions. Well, not lots of potions, but a few. Go get me some roast bird. Bunny stew. Some escargot, which I think I will actually eat there and then. More of that stuff, and I believe I can turn. 
Right, apparently I am stocked up on mana. Good to know, alrighty. I will save you from the slime. I will put you in my pocket. Oh my goodness. Alright. Uh, I'll be back when this guy spawns. Speaking of which, not three seconds later, guess who arrives? Of course this is expert mode, because I am nothing if not a glutton for punishment. I, I just, yeah, that, that, there I go. Alright. We're not ready for him yet. Those guys are probably the worst. That's unfortunate. Just a quick update. Wasn't able to get him to, su to summon him again from that particular event, but we did actually get them to drop enough platinum to make ourselves a diamond staff. So that's helped. Um, my damage output is now somewhat greater, so I am in better standing to go fight things. So I'm thinking that the next thing that we kind of need to do is we really do need to go back to the jungle again. There are certain things in the jungle that I do need. Least of not which is um, stuff called spores. Which are actually very, very helpful for making a, um, a particular magic type armor. So, we have plenty of food. But I think we'll give the bunnies and the squirrels a bit of a rest for now unless we see a golden one. But we'll meet you in the jungle. Uh, all right. Days later, and uh, yeah, so we hit 400 HP, and the Eye of Cthulhu has spawned, and I have no boots or wings or any ability to fly. So here we are. We're doing it live. Help me! Shit! 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 shit. <laughs> Oh crap, he's actually reached his second form already. Health pot. We, we needed to plan this out better. Like, a lot better. But it looks like, will we do it? 30 seconds on health pots. Shit. 
shit. Oh my god. We did it. We did it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, one. Look, I'm not gonna lie, I was expecting to have to fight the Moon Lord, to fight the Eye of Cthulhu sooner rather than later. However, I was not expecting to have him to fight this soon. I, I know I said I planned it for episode 3, but I didn't expect to win. I honestly thought that I was going to have to do, like, three attempts at this. Now, I'm no noob to Terraria. But it always makes... It always gives me the willies having to try and solo something that I would normally be playing multiplayer on. Oh, alright. So, this I guess means that we can uh, <laughs> quickly have a celebratory <laughs> thrilled squirrel. I need to find the chains and turn... Uh, yeah, hello, Heart Lantern. Hi, what's up? Whoa. Oh my goodness. Oh. And, uh, yeah, so, damn. That's, um, that was pretty intense. Hence, not going to lie there. Wow. But let's let's take a quick look at, look at what we got. Right click. All right. So crimson seeds, shield of Cthulhu, and gold was it? Oh, and crimson ore, which was great because now I can do all the things. Uh, quick stack that all away, toss that in there. Alright, I need to catch my breath. Be back. Okay, so this I do believe is where we're going to end things for this particular episode. We have actually set out and then some achieved. We, we set out to achieve certain things and we have done exactly what we set out to achieve. Sorry, English is hard. Um, We defeated the Eye of Cthulhu, which I was honestly not expected to do on my first try, so yay me. We have even, if you can't tell, on the left-hand side there, or right-hand side rather, left and right is hard too, um, we've actually completed a full set of jungle armor, plus I have a mini shark now, because uh, just... And for those of you who are wondering, I do stream this live on Twitch. It does make for some rather interesting conversations uh, regarding the game. But I did take a quick peek into the Crimson, because this is a Crimson world, uh, and managed to blow up enough of the, uh, the Crimson wall to gain access to one of the Crimson Hearts. Uh, whereupon it dropped us the Undertaker, which is a pistol. It is staunch, which gives us plus 13 damage, plus 50% knockback. Uh, which, when we arrived the next day, gave us Mlech, the gunsmith. Who apparently doesn't like Norson, the uh, demolitionist. That being said, later on, we will be buying grenades from him, so... Uh, that's... that's... that's Milton. Uh, but Norson! Hi! Dynamite! My own special cure-all for what ails you. Yes, you drop it at your feet and boom. Um, yeah. So, and then obviously we had a crap load of gold. Uh, our current stash is... 
considerably lessened, but easily made up for. Working our way towards our first platinum. Other than that, I shall bid you farewell. If you like what you saw, then please like, comment, and like, comment, share, and subscribe, because the only way the channel will grow is with your help. And thus, I hope to see you in all in the next episode. Thank you all for watching. See you next time. All right, so we have problems now. Oh crap! Kill the wizards. So, at the end of the last clip, I realized that I didn't have quite enough to make out the 20 minutes of episodes. So, uh, luckily, the goblin army arrived and kind of solved that problem for me. it'd be super difficult and not gonna lie a little awkward I wonder if I get anything cool at the end of this because sometimes they give you cool stuff help up oh ow ow they have the high ground they followed the lessons of Obi-Wan well. Oh no. So uh, we'll, we'll do this plus whatever else we can do. This shouldn't take us too long. I mean, it's only a goblin army at 47%. that is kind of like the wrong potions, but sure, why not, right? Ow, ow, ow. I don't technically need to kill all of the archers and foot soldiers, it's just the mages. This is kind of annoying. But at least I get lots of money out of it, so that's nice. And I do have some decent regen. Aha, your magic your stupid bullshit is no match for the power of my white glowy orbs of death. I don't know where I was going with that, but I'm fairly certain I could have come out super awkward. strategy is just to dig a lava pit and just wait to, to jump into it and murder themselves, but I can't do that because I kind of need the food. Oh, and I think they might all be gone now. Yep. That is all of them gone. And now I can reap the pumpkin rewards. Cool. So that was a goblin invasion. That's that's another milestone off this series. We've done what, our, our first event. Well, second event. Because the pumpkin is technically an event plus a boss. So there is that. 
So that's cool, which means we can probably get the Tinker now. Indeed. Pumpkin pie. So much pumpkin pie. Nice. We like pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie is our friend. We also grab, oh, seven gold out of that. Nice. Which brings us back up to 56 gold, 19 copper, and 29 silver coins. We do kind of need to go back to the jungle. Because I actually need to get enough for... Where's the, where's the guide? Uh, Captain Bullshit, where are you? Hi. The sword. I need 12 and 12 to make that. The swords are important because the swords are kind of necessary. So I need four more spores and ten more stingers. But I do believe that that gets us to time. All right. So now is the true end of the episode. See you again in the next one. Thanks for watching.